You're working the trauma bay and you hear the radio go off. Inbound trauma alert, 30 year old male, MBC, EFAS positive, 60 over palp blood pressure, two liters normal saline in. Here's the problem. This guy has been bleeding for like 30 minutes before he even got here. And we've already started diluting his blood by giving him normal saline, two liters to be exact. At this point, this patient doesn't need more fluid. He needs blood products. You immediately get on the phone to blood bank. We need blood, activate MTP. MTP or mass transfusion protocol is basically saying to the blood bank, we're gonna need a lot of blood very, very quickly. It gives you a continuous amount of blood, typically at greater than 10 units of blood that can then be used on this trauma patient that's coming in. MTP is typically given in a one to one to one ratio. So PRVCs, plasma, and platelets in a one to one to one. And that is exactly what's gonna save your patient's life. Your cooler arrives and the first round is ready. Let's start it. We're gonna hang these blood products using a device like a Belmont or a level one. And they're gonna ensure that we can push a blood bag into patients very, very fast. In the right settings with the right access, I can get a whole blood bag into a patient in less than a minute. That's like 500 mLs of fluid. Your patient's pressure climbs to 92 systolic and the trauma team takes that patient to the OR and saves his life. If we continue down this path of just giving fluids, we would run into the lethal triad. So clotting issues, hypothermia, and acidosis. Tell me, would you have activated MTP based on the trauma report alone, or are you waiting to see the patient?